Returning back today, looking to the U.S. cattle herd numbers, where the western U.S. of course experienced five consecutive years of beef cattle liquidation from 2019 to 2023, resulting in historically high prices due to lower cow numbers. Beef cow slaughter, which was historically high in 2022 due to drought conditions, declined by 11% in 2023, even as conditions improved. However, the reports of higher-than-normal open cows and heifers in some states, like Montana and Wyoming, suggested lingering effects of previous droughts. By the end of 2023, 35% of U.S. beef cows were still in affected areas of drought. A year-over-year -year decline in U.S. beef cow slaughter is expected in 2024. And while beef cow prices for 2024 are starting $20 a hundredweight higher than the previous year, the timing of herd rebuilding depends on U.S. pasture and range conditions. As always, weather will be the number one factor for ranchers and their decision making in the months ahead. Finally, today we see that in the third week of January, retail fertilizer prices remain mostly lower. Six out of the eight major fertilizers continued their downward trend for a fourth consecutive week, with two others showing a slight increase. Notably, anhydrous experienced a significant price drop of 5%, bringing its average to $770 a ton. On the flip side, two fertilizers saw a slight uptick in prices, with DAP averaging $727 a ton and 1034.0 priced at $601 a ton. That's a look at today's Farm and Ranch News. The preceding news segment was produced for MTN by the Western Ag Network.